that's hilarious because if he's really trying to hide it, he's super bad at this. <laughs> the, like debuff or whatever, the Levin Sun or whatever. <laughs> oh man! If you care, you can see. Okay, so yeah, we're talking about limit, maximum, obvious cheetah fakes, blind progression in Final Fantasy XIV. This video that blew up like one hundred thirty thousand views. <laughs> so, uh, the the Final Fantasy XIV inspector Despirius has to check this out, right? Um, when when there's drama around, we we need to find out that if if the drama is actually um, worth thinking about. All right, let's start. I hope the sound is fine. Let me put the volume a bit louder. As many of you know, recently a handful of players from World Progression World of Warcraft teams Limit and Echo have been trying their hand at raiding in Final Fantasy XIV. I want to preface this video by saying that this is content that I personally have been looking forward to for a very long time, and yeah. seeing their genuine reaction to mechanics and having a peek into their thought processes for how they would solve or handle some of these mechanics, as a longtime hardcore blind progression raider in Final Fantasy myself, this is insanely interesting to me. I've watched every minute of Echo's progression recently as they're nearing a clear on E12S now and completing every Shadowbringers raid, wrapping up the expansion for themselves. Their prog has been a blast to watch between all of their team banter and 5-head unique strat creation, and seeing how they solve some things that we solved very long ago. This would have been the case for Max and those he was raiding with as well. Early on, I was excited for every stream. I was even willing to moderate his chat when he was asking for volunteers because I knew I'd be there for the entire thing. To me, there is no better Final Fantasy content than watching competitive World of Warcraft raiding guilds attempt blind progression for the first time, especially after I had just done the reverse thing in Castle Nathria, having played solely Final Fantasy for 6 or 7 years now, and then going to try out the Mythic Raids in WoW for the first time. However, very early on in Max's progression, I quickly realized that he's not actually attempting to do these raids blind at all, and instead <laughs> he's watching video guides and preparing ahead of time, and this made me lose interest very fast. No one actually cares if you're blind or not, however, being disingenuous about it is what really gets me and yeah. some others. So the, the guy is playing Final Fantasy XIV for a long time and then swapped to, over to WoW for maybe Shadowlands and uh, tried out Ca Castle Nathria as his first wow raid but um obviously uh, there were some problems with limit or max himself not being ingenious about yeah that he's doing it blindly because he is being told that he has watched some guides before that or he has looked up some tips and and strats on the internet so in in my first opinion i would say uh, before starting the video i would claim that it's really, really no big problem. I don't know. People seem to push this drama out much more than it actually, out of proportion than it's actually needed and required. But yeah, I, I also don't see the, the big yeah hype about this topic in general. Like, is it really that that hard? Uh, do you need the, the acceptance and justification that you're a good player by seeing big raid guilds wipe to this sort of content. I think that's the main reason why people watch this. Like, hey, I cleared this content already. I hope that my my the biggest WoW guilds fail at this to prove how good Final Fantasy XIV is, how difficult it is to raid in Final Fantasy XIV compared to WoW. And in all honesty... That's just ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, let's let's see what, what um, the creator of this video has to tell about this. Either how proud he is for solving certain mechanics quickly, like Tsunami 2, or how cringe people are for thinking he's some sort of cheater, and how he would have no reason to watch a guide because it would remove all the fun. That last point, however, is very true. It does remove all the fun. So that begs the question, why yeah. are you doing it? I almost feel bad for him, because he's taken away something that he can never get back. The enjoyment from solving these things blind for the first time is a gift that we receive only once every six months or so, and not to mention the practice you get from each tier, being able to improve or become better at solving these things so that you're quicker the next time, or have a better gauge of what to look for or what to do to get as much info as you can in as little time as you can, if that's something you want to get better at. You don't get many opportunities to improve at blind progression in this game, and you've just wasted a whole lot of relevant ones. Yeah. Once you're out of new content, you're at a bit of a standstill in that regard. Anyone who does blind progression or is in that top 1% of raiders in this game can see that he's blatantly cheating. It's just obvious <laughs> to us. 
You might have those that are less experienced or those that are dedicated fans fooled to some extent. But what I want to do now is walk you through a handful of these insanely oh, damning oh. clips that some people have taken throughout okay. his blind progression. <laughs> and give a bit of my own input or my thoughts on each one, having progressed every tier the last few years blind myself. Unfortunately, I decided to make this video a few months after he first started raiding in Final Fantasy, so most of his earlier VODs are already removed and I can't go back and scour them for some more clips of my own, but there's plenty here to look through already. This first clip is from their first ever poll of E9 normal mode. Keeping in mind that at this point he still has not done any raid outside of this chain of raids, therefore not having done the 24 man raid World of Darkness that shows you how this cloud mechanic works and how longtime raiders should have pretty instantly known what to do. And you like, hmm. <laughs> so how does it show you've been there too long? Is there an animation on the ground? It starts turning purple. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yo, 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 you have to kill these clouds. Yo, these clouds, uh, you can slow them if you're in front of them, I think. Uh, I don't know. It starts turning red when you're about to go through, but you have to have someone in the line of sight of like these clouds, I guess. And they, uh, <sighs> you can slow them down. Looks like you can see, I don't know. I, I think. Look at the the movement. He's he's really not being addressed addressing this cloud at all. I have to have someone in the line of sight of like these clouds, I guess. <sighs> Where's the cloud? Let's let's check the cloud again. Only known what to do. And you like? Hmm. So how does it show you've been there too long? Is there an animation? He's really not having any focus on the cloud. Look at that. <laughs> I don't I don't think you can actually blame him for cheating at that point. It, it's it's not so obvious that people make it on the ground. It starts turning purple. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, wait, hold up. Okay. The problem is, yeah, he, he's saying wait, hold up before he actually hits the cloud and before the thing happens. Okay, that's the problem. I would have pretty instantly known what to do. Let's, let's like, check it again. Hmm. Wait, hold up comes before so he hits the cloud. how does it show you've been there too long? Is there an animation on the ground? It starts turning purple. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, hold yeah, up. okay. Yo, 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 you have to kill this <laughs> Okay, he knows yo, it. these clouds... He knows uh, it already. Okay, that's that's bad. Them, I think. That's bad. It starts turning red when it's you're It's not to a problem, through, but... but guys, that's that's obviously he knows what he has to do there. And he's trying to hide it by just standing obvious distance to the cloud, so... Uh, yeah. His group could show their skill if they get some first clears, no? Yeah, that's that's the point. They haven't. <laughs> um, as far as I, I'm, I'm aware and as far as I, I'm, I'm not mistaken. Wait, so you, the cheating part of this is that he didn't do it blind. Um, the thing is, yeah, cheating is a big term. I think you're right. Cheating is the problem here. The, the term cheating, because when you claim that all of this is doing yeah, a blind run and you're doing this for the first time without any form of knowledge... And then you you have that knowledge. I would agree that this is basically cheating. That is called can be called cheating because yeah, you claim it's a blind run. You don't know anything about this boss, but you do, and you're yeah pretending to not know anything. And he is doing exactly that because you told before stepping into the cloud, like hey guys, there's something about the cloud <laughs> before he he hit the cloud. Uh, yeah, I, I don't see this so critical, uh, critically, but, um, yeah, obviously he's no aware of the, the mechanic. That's... You have to have someone in the line of sight of, like, these on. clouds, I guess, and they, uh, you can slow them down. Looks like you can see that he starts saying hold up for no reason before he even does anything, and then he walks in front of the cloud and instantly figures out how to slow the clouds down. He also somehow knows that it's a line of sight for being in front of the cloud and not just standing directly on top of it. For reference, Echo did this fight for hours while trying to clear the Savage difficulty, and by the time they cleared, they still weren't 100% sure how to slow the clouds down. It's definitely not the most intuitive mechanic, had you not already known how it works yeah, from the 24 man. I agree on that. And definitely not something you'd figure out the entire nuance of during the middle of your first ever pull of normal mode. Yeah, I, w I would say and agree that uh, personally, I still don't know how the cloud works. Like, uh, I, I didn't know that you have to stand in front of the cloud. I, I would just st stick next to the cloud. That was what I was supposed to do. But we did this with uh, heavy, hard echo mode. So um, we just basically one-shot at the cloud. So 
that was not a problem. And we were overgeared like insane. So I don't know. It, it, I guess it will be a hard mechanic when you do this synced and uh, with low gear. Without even reviewing it. Also, as a side note, after watching some of these clips, I've noticed that he has a bit of a habit or a tick of saying hold up before he's about to have some sort of revelation that just solves whatever mechanic they're currently on. This next clip is similar on their second pull of E5S. Okay. Um, so, okay, so you guys are putting out the things now, right? Hold up, 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 hold up. <laughs> Yo, y'all see that fucking knockback prevent? Yeah, you knockback prevent there. Yo, hold up. That fucking, uh, if you soak, if you soak the fucking thunderstorm, it gets rid of that thing. That oh, thing man. Okay. Uh, is he actually trying to, to hide it? I don't know. That That's, he, he can't make sense of a mechanic by just watching what happened. He actually didn't watch what happened. Man, <laughs> okay, that's that's kind of that's hilarious because if he's really trying to hide it, he's super bad at this. <laughs> the, like debuff or whatever, the Levinson sun or whatever. <laughs> oh man! You, here you can say that they haven't even begun to start analyzing this mechanic yet, as they don't even know the clouds are range baited. You can see that the tank has one, and the others aren't <laughs> pre-positioned awaiting them, like you would be if you did know that they were distance baited. And it looks like he deliberately runs into the cloud and is waiting for it to hit him and is eager to speak about it. <laughs> yes. He even does a double take to make sure that his debuff <laughs> got removed before telling the others how to solve this panic cleanse. Before they even know that you're supposed to pair up one panicked person with one cloud person oh, and man. that you can forcibly do that. Some intricacy with the mechanics. I want a couple people to maybe grab a few extra stacks on the first pull to see if there's any mechanics that are baited on people with higher stacks because I imagine there's some kind of interaction with that. I don't care who it is, just maybe have a healer get an extra stack, maybe a DPS. Anja, get like fucking five stacks, see what it does. Uh, and then, well, what's up? From normal, if you get more than four, you get the debuffs. Okay, then get then get like three. three. You can see in this clip that he desperately wants his off tank to figure out how to bait the ad by having the highest number of stacks. He starts off trying to say any role other than tank to not be too obvious, but then he just ends up telling the tank to pick up a bunch of orbs anyway in the slight chance that there happens to be a mechanic that is baited to the player with the highest number of stacks. Mm. I'm not sure why you'd ever have the suspicion from this, because in normal mode, the stacks were only used to survive the empowered raid wides. Yeah, I don't know. This clip is from their first time past Isolate Dragon Song, when the Red Mirror copies her ice floor mechanic and spawns the ice under you. The problem here is that um, if you know one mechanic and you, you're certainly aware of the fact how mechanics happen and in which order or maybe what they need, what you need to do to uh, fight against, especially what each player has to do, where do you stop? I think at, yeah, you know the boss completely or not at all. Um, and that's basically, if you know that he is aware of the facts, how clouds work on... on um, this boss, then he definitely knows how this stack mechanic works. So I don't know. It's, is it really that taking out all the, the excitement about people watching this content when Max is, is totally aware of some mechanics? I don't know. I, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, it's, it's the same thing like when, when people are playing world first races and some parties are farther in, the, in some mechanics. I have seen this on, on Xenos. Uh, live stream on this boss in particular like I think Arthur's group were f faster than they were and they figured out some mechanics to work in a better way with another setup and another um, way to deal with it and they adapted to that mechanic and without any problem like uh, we stick with our uh, strategy and with our um, stuff in our setup they adapted and they were fine with that I think that's basically the same way here and they are forcing themselves so hard to hide it which is um the worst part is that he does not seem to have fun finding out the mechanics yeah exactly he, he's really you can tell it by his reaction by his mood and of course you can say he's waiting for 10 hours you're just completely drained after that and um you're not motivated to do more but yeah i think this 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 really total excitement of learning ah this works in that way i get it now i get it now that's definitely not uh, the case here but yeah we we all we just got the bad examples right so this this video is definitely uh biased <laughs>
I don't know. Let's let's continue. He somehow knows that you need to move and is telling everyone that they do need to move before the boss begins showing any sign of casting Akrai or any indication that you should move at all. How this mechanic should actually work if it's your first time getting there is that it should be a bit of a debate. You see very late that the boss is starting to do the animation and dialogue for the Akrais that you've done a bunch of times previously throughout the fight, so you know how that works and you go to move, but then when you move, she spawns the ice floor under you and mm, you slip okay. right off the arena. <laughs> this is exactly what happened to Echo in their first attempt on this mechanic. What are you doing, lady? Oh, oh, don't move, don't move, don't move. I'm looking away, maybe? Don't move. Gonna do the ice again. What you do have to you do have to move, I think. You have to no, actually no. use the ice to move you here because you'd have to aren't we gonna get fucking killed right now? Look away. Oh, no, Not... we have to move. Knife parties? Oh, oh shit. Yeah, we... Oh I get it. So, so, no, 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 we have no, to no, yeah, no, 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 I get it too. You, you slip you, across. Yeah, you slip across. You stand by the red mirror and then you slip across the other side yeah, of the Yeah, but that's okay. That's, that's okay. Fucking this next clip is also from E8S. I don't know. That, I, th I think that is okay because he made sense of the ice being some sort of indicator that you have to slide somewhere. That's uh, that's at least fine to me. I th I think that's something you can make sense of without knowing the mechanics. Um, yeah, that doesn't change the whole uh, trustworthiness of, of Max here. But yeah, I think that's definitely a, a part or an example where you can make sense of, hey, it's ice, you have to slide somewhere. You just don't have to just simply stand in the ice or on the ice. That's That makes sense. We have another prediction during their progression of E12Fs. However, this time, without ever knowing what a door boss is, he is going to guess that the fight just has a checkpoint for some reason and won't send them back. I know this is the biggest copium of all time, but I hope there's like a fucking checkpoint. And like, you beat that boss, and then whatever the fuck is after that, you just start there every pull. Like that, uh, like Shaw of Fear and WoW. That sounds like some fucking that's my, copium that's my if I've fucking, ever heard copium. That is, that is my fucking copium. That is some fucking hard. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know. It's hard to to make guesses if you really don't know about these things being in game. But uh, it could also be a good, good guess here. I don't know. Yeah, that's what you you do on your first idea. How to to drag these? Yeah. If you somehow don't... opted from their very first ever pull, where people were just running around and dying to fire, to somehow do the Billy Billy Lion strat, having hardly any info on how wide the cones are or where the safe spots had to be for the players that aren't playing the cone mechanic at the time, and just instantly figuring out all of the positions for this common pug strat. It's it's really hard to tell that somebody's really having not any single clue and make something like this up for the first time. Um which is basically how the macro on the party final looks. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I agree with that. But uh, the conclusion to me feels like somebody's pissed because Max lied about his state of doing this blindly. Uh, well, yeah, I think the focus should lie on if they actually enjoyed this and made this event a good event and something something you should watch or it's worth watching for the viewer and i think many people watched this and stayed there so um on the other hand i know that many people have watched streamers from final fantasy 14 like xeno or sphere reacting to this because they kind of knew if there was some fake stuff happening and stuff because they are really doing this over and over again and day after day uh but I don't know. Is it is it a problem? Uh, it's like Jonathan Davis from Corn is singing "I'm blind," but in truth he's not. <laughs> yeah, I, maybe that's that's exactly the same thing. Yeah, um, he is not blind, but uh, he is definitely singing this, and you can agree on that, right? And I think one part of doing this blindly is that you don't have anybody in the party that did the fight already that's that's my thing of hey we're doing this blind or if you go in there don't know ha about anything and then watch strategies and let somebody explain the strategies and mechanics it's still it's still an adventure right it's still something you have to experience for yourself and still something um yeah you can have fun with and especially watching this can can give people lots of, lots of fun so 
I, I don't think. I think this is super over exaggerated. And uh, when when remembering what the creator said at the start, um, yeah, about the whole thing, that this is the only content he wanted to watch for a long time, and he he stuck with this as a mentor, and he moderated the chat um, for for this event to happen. It fe- it really feels for me that somebody's not. It's running out of of activities in this game or on this schedule i don't want to to blame anybody i don't want to uh offend somebody but this really feels like being blown out of proportion and yeah max may not be completely honest about his state of doing this blindly and he might have known some strategies before but uh, it really depends on did you have fun watching him doing this or not and that's all you need to know there were a lot of people watching this content, so I think it should it wasn't the, the worst experience they ever had on, on this regard. So uh, it's absolutely fine. It's the same thing with, with Rich doing ultimate stuff with many hardcore raiders that are super knowledgeable and experienced about this this raid already. It's also fine. Like he he has to perform his stuff and even if, if Rin is is yeah, babysitting him, he still has to do this stuff. Even on on the call out and a shout out, he has to do it. He has to do it properly, and he has to perform his rotation, kinda at least somewhere close to being properly. So, um, it's your own fault. It's your own problem. You have to deal with this by yourself. If if you're disingenuous about this or not, we'll see how that works out for me and Savage in the new tier of um, Pandemonium or the recent tier of Pandemonium. It's actually not new anymore, but I will do this on stream as well. So. Uh, I will not claim it's a blind run, but I will claim that we will have fun on this one, which is my top priority in Final Fantasy XIV.